the sleeper stretch. We tend to give the sleeper stretch in companion with the pails and rails. I'm gonna go through a little bit of that here. But our setup for our sleeper stretch is knees flexed, and we almost want our arm to match the angle of our legs here. So it's coming slightly down away from my torso, and I want you to trap your shoulder underneath your body. So don't let that shoulder escape out here. That's gonna get the shoulder blade involved in the range of motion here. So trap that, let your head relax down. So now with my arm there, what I wanna do is use my other hand and gently at first go into as much internal rotation as I can. You can see right here, I should pretty much be able to get close to the floor. Okay? This is where a lot of you are going to be. Now what I want to do if I'm working on pails and rails from this position is I'm going to push back into my hand with this arm right here, starting my 20% effort. Watch the pails and rails video for directions there. Push back, work up to 100%, and then I would actively pull down, and I would repeat three to five reps, and that would be my sleeper stretch for the shoulder.